Uh, this is uh, outdoor videos of Brad. Um, we're a little further in the summer, so I'm going to show you some more edibles. Well, the, we're going back to the mulberry tree and the little wild strawberries. But since we're a little further in the summer here, you can see here that they're more developed. This one don't really want to come off. If they come off real easy, then, you know, this one ain't completely purple yet. It's still edible. See, there's the leaves. They're nice and shiny. And they have a little divot in it. And mulberry trees grow all over the place. Because the birds, as you can tell here, because there's crap all over the place. They like to eat them. And the seeds are in there with them. You can see the little seeds. You can see that one came off real nice and easy. They're nice and sweet. And down here we got more of the the wild strawberries. You know, these have a couple different names. They're called snake bite berries. The only difference between these and actual wild strawberries is one, I think these have a white flower. If there's a flower that blooms near them, it should be white. And the actual ones should be yellow, I think. As you can see, the shoot, no, I can't find it. Yeah. As you can see on these berries, the seeds are on the outside. That's the only difference between this and actual wild strawberries, but they're still edible. They don't have that much of a flavor. Tastes like water. And in another video, I showed you these and I was wrong about the name. I was calling it self heal, but it's not called self heal. This stuff here actually is edible, though, and you can make a tea out of it too. It's called Creeping Charlie. It has a, a lot of vitamin C in it. A lot of wild plants have vitamin C in it. I think that's it in this little area. Alright, tune back.